Hello everypony, this is Timber the Alicorn, and in today's video, I am reading another horror fan fiction. Um, so, the last horror fan fiction was The Cask of Apple Tlato, which was really good. And since it's getting, since it's October, getting close to Halloween, might as well read another scary one, to keep it with, like, the theme or whatever. Get what I'm saying? Alright, so... This fanfiction, I read this before somewhere. I actually heard it from uh, Creepy McPasta or something. It was actually an unselling story. So this story is called The Cough. It's about like some disease and stuff. And one of, in, the, in the main six like lock themselves up and stuff. So I'm gonna... Just read it, and we'll get started. In the darkness, some pony coughed. Who was it? Silence reigned. Who? A dim violet light sprang into being. Twilight Sparkle's horn barely illuminated the cramped, windowless room and the six ponies within. A world of dark purples and inky blacks revealed itself, colors distorted by monochrome aura of the magical implement. These details, man. Shadows pooled in the corners, lurking just beyond the reach of the unicorn spell. Rainbow Dash watched as Twilight glared at each of their friends in turn. None spoke. Silhouettes danced along the walls as the unicorn moved her head, causing the light to jerk and shift. Pinkie Pie held near the barred door, eyes wide and uncomprehending as she started off into an uncertain distance. The baker twitched si slightly, squeezing the bag of flour that she clutched so tightly to her chest. On the room's only bed, Rarity lay next to Applejack, her head buried in the farmer's shoulder. The dressmaker shook as she sobbed quietly. Dash didn't know whether the unicorn's distress was because of their situation or because of their hygiene. <laughs> Rarity always caring about hygiene. Anyway, the room reeked of unwashed bodies in Rarity's mane, like every pony else's was tangled and gnawed in hun heavy with filth. Hamjack, for her part, merely start, starred stoically back at Twilight Sparkle when the librarian's gaze turned to her. And then those eyes were on Dash and on Fluttershy. The two were locked in an embrace. It was the only comfort they had in the room. The weather, Pony found her Pony, excuse me, Pony found her voice when the other Pegasus began to shudder. What does it matter? Twilight Sparkle's brow furrowed. Get serious, Dash. It's better for five of us to get through this This than none of us. Coffee is the only warning we get. Flourishai's whisper carried well enough in the enclosed space. Couldn't we, um, wait and see? It could be dust or cold. Please. I really wish that we could risk it, Fluttershy, Twilight said, the sharp edge of her voice softening slightly. But there's no going back. Once it's once it reaches the final stage, you saw what happened out there. Do you really want that in here? Um Sorry, okay. Applejack sighed and spoke up. She's right, Sugar Cube. It's not contagious until the end. We got a choice to make one death or six. Rainbow Dash green her teeth. Isn't there anything that can be done? Can your magic cure it? Stop it? Slow it down? She paused and added in a hoarse whisper. Anything? The unicorn shook her head. Ugh. Ugh, sorry. Even the princess can't cure it. She can only contain outbreaks that do happen. Every carrier has to die. That's the only way the rest of us can be safe. The only way the rest of Equestria can be safe. 
You know that, Dash. Time matters here. Why are you stalling? The weather pony's mouth worked, but no words came forth. Fluttershy's voice, suddenly confident, filled the gap. I coughed. It was me. Rainbow Dash gaped at the other pe Pegasus, eyes wide with shock and horror. The pink maid mare turned to look at her and spoke once again hesitant. It's okay. It'll be okay. I couldn't live with myself if any of you died, and I couldn't have prevented it. It's better this way. Dash shook her head slowly and whispered a single, No! Owlerjack's voice was grim. Her mind's made up. It's a tough choice, but Fluttershy's got the strength of an ox on the inside. How, how can we... How is she going to... The Pegasus tra trailed off. Twilight Sparkle sighed and slumped to the floor. We don't have any weapons, and I'm not trained in combat magic. Even if I were, it can't be me. It has to be you, Dash. What? Why me? The unicorn looked away. I know you well enough to realize that you never just stand aside to let one of us lay a hoof on your filly friend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe intellectually, you know that it's necessary, but your emotions get the better of you. Ask yourself, if it has to be any of us, would you really want any pony but yourself to... to... Fire on her face? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, that's... okay. Not, sorry, I killed the mood. Pretty sure I already killed the mood. Alright, Rainbow Dash rose to her hooves. You're right. The mare's voice was hollow. She took a step away from the other Pegasus. Applejack spoke. Fluttershy, sit up and put your head up against the wall. It, it'll be a might, a might. Mare choked back tears quicker. I thought Applejack cries on the inside. I'm so sorry, Rainbow Dash. I wish it could be any other way. Twilight said. The rainbow main Pegasus looked over her shoulder to meet the eyes of the mare she loved. Flarsha had taken the Earth Pony's advice. They stared at each other silently for a moment. Eventually, Dash found words as inefficient as they were. I'm sorry. I love you. I'm so sorry. Ah! The other Pegasus replied, voice shaking. I love you too, and I forgive you. It's better this way. Just. Make sure some pony takes care of the animals when this is all over. When everything is back to normal. I'm pretty sure we're wrong. <clears throat> Rainbow Dash whispered. I promise. She took careful aim. One buck, it would be quick. Fluttershy deserved that much, at least. When she was sure she connect vision or not, she spoke. Cut the light, Twilight. No pony should have to see this. The horns glow disappeared. Gears of riding and kicking clouds had honed Dash's muscles. She reared up on her front legs, gathering all her strength, and kicked out. She connected, and a dull thud was accompanied, accompany, excuse me, by a sensation of warm droplets splattering across her flank. <laughs> I was going to make a period joke, but I decided not to. <laughs> sorry. I'm, I, oh, God, I'm sorry. It was followed by a high-pitched moan from the agonized pony behind her. Rainbow Dash reacted to Fluttershy's continued suffering without thought. She reared again and bucked repeatedly, staying herself and adding force with swift flaps of her wings. On her fourth kick, the other mare's keen stopped with a sickening crunch. The weather mare's hooves dropped back to the floor. She stood shaking, her eyes wide and her heart beating nearly out of her chest. Her fetlocks were drenched with the sticky blood. She could feel it begin to clot. She wondered, despite herself, whether the mess would stain, whether her coat would always bear the red residue of her deed. She wept quietly to herself. Silence reigned. In the darkness, some pony coughed. Oh man, that 
First time when I read that, that ending like was like messed up. <laughs> I do really like this story. This story is really because this was before I became a brony. I read, I listened to this. When I listened to this, it was like one of the most messed up things I have ever read in my life. <laughs> it really was. Because, I mean, I never heard of Animal... Because back when I read this, I never heard of a good fanfiction. Because I remember people stereotyping, like, fanfiction saying, Oh, they're all sexual, or they're all shipping and stuff. This has a shipping in it, but it's still a good and scary story with a plot ending. No matter if it has to do with ponies, it, it's still amazing. And I love it! So, anyway guys, um, that's it for this video here. If you uh, liked me reading this story, uh, please like and subscribe. And I'll also put a link into another video i done. It was a pony voice impressions of background characters. And I'll put that in the description below so you can see that video. And... And Timber is out, y'all.